Paragrama samudra. What paragrama C? What the C of King Paragrama is a shallow reservoir consisting of three separate reservoirs connected by narrow channels in Polo Naro, Sri Lanka. This reservoir's catchment area is as large as 75 million square meters, while service area is 22.6 million square meters. This average depth is about 5 meters and maximum depth is 12.7 meters, and surface elevation is 58.5 meters. This vast water reservoir was built by King Parakram of the Great. 1153-1186 and today what you see as the Parakram Samudra is only a portion of its original creation. Parakram Samudra originally consisted of five large reservoirs separated by smaller dams to reduce the pressure on the main dam. Many smaller tanks have been built around the main tank to feed these primary tanks and to take in excess water. The northernmost reservoir is the oldest and referred to as Topaiwa built around 386. The middle section Eramuduweva and the southernmost portion at the highest elevation is Dumutulweva. Both sections were added and the reservoir expanded during the reign of King Parakram Brahu. King Parakram Brahu the Great built or restored 165 dams, 3,910 canals, 163 major reservoirs, and 2,376 minor tanks. During his reign of 33 years, Lanka became the granary of the Orient, achieving the zenith of development in irrigation and agriculture of the single East civilization. He restored three great Dagebas at Anuradhapura, yet reserved his greatest efforts on building spree on his capital, Polonaru erecting huge buildings, planning beautiful parks. Parakram Samudra is his crown in achievement. The new reconstruction process has ignored most of the ancient technology which this tank was built in, reducing the capacity of the tank further. As of today, the dam of Parakram Samudra is 14 km in length and 40 feet in height. The body of water covers 5,350 acres with an average depth of 15 feet. Or 18,000 acres of fatty land is supported by this reservoir. This building has been clearly identified as the council chamber of King Sankamala. The lion figure of the stone at the southern end of the building is the throne as indicated therein by an inscription under the lion's belly. And the inscription on the pillars indicate the seating arrangement of the respective ministers and state officials. No better evidence is available anywhere in the island about the arrangement of an ancient royal council than this. The roof supported in stone pillars probably had wooden members and covered with clay tiles. This was a three-storied building with carvings of elephants, horses and lions. There are four rows of elegant stone pillars. The inscriptions on the pillars are more important than their scenic beauty. They recorded the positions occupied by the dignitaries when the king was on the magnificent lion's throne. The inscription on the lion in the council chamber records that it served as a throne to the king. 
a lion may have been used to decorate the king's throne in order to display the majesty of the king to the right hand side of the king there is a small throne molded stone seat inscribed as the seat of the heir apparent the edifice near the audience of the king nisankamal has not yet been properly identified the white lime plaster on the exterior walls suggests that it may be the dawalagara dawal meaning white built by king parakram bah the great views have also been expressed that it may be symbolic of the center of the royalty the present remains however suggest that it is a storied edifice with a cruciform ground plan within these premises are found the ruins of many important monuments including the audience hall of king nisankamalla this has also been identified as the location of the deepoyan island park built by king parakram bah the great the bathing pond to the extreme south may be anantanaga pakuna built by him king nisankamalla built his within this park and renamed it kalinguina near this garden are the ruins of something like a summer house built in the parakram samudra 